on guys, Jordan's PS here and today I'm back with a brand new video and today we're back on Dreamscape Hours PS here again and today we're going to be doing a higher tier item showcase for you guys. If we take a look at my inventory here, we can see that I have a bunch of higher tier items. I have a bunch of gear. I have a Dream Blood gear, I have a Dream Mage gear, I have the Arm Off gear, I have the Arm Off Cape and I have a bunch of other really good items which I'm going to be taking a look at. And we're going to be comparing each and every single one with their prices and whatnot and we're going to be testing them out to see how higher tier these actually are and to see if these are worth their price. So yeah, we're going to be getting straight into this and let's go. So if we take a look, the Sword of Protectorate is $300 or 100 quad. And if you take a look at the Cypher Vita, that is 54 quad. I'm not too sure about the price in the store. I don't think it has a price in the store. And then the BFG main hand, which is this here, is worth $300, which is untradeable. And then the off hand is worth $250, which is tradable. And that's 99 quad. And then if we take a look at the Infinity Gauntlet, this is mid tier more than higher tier. But either way, this is worth $100 or around about 9 quad. I believe. Then if we take a look at the Eternal Kayoni Staff, this is worth $325, most expensive thing yet. And this is 36 quads. So that's also really, really expensive. And if we take a look at the orbs, these are both worth $250 each, which are 20 quad and 45 quad. And then we have the Dream Mage set, which I believe is this one here, which is worth $500, which is 120 to 130 quad. Or is this one here, which is also $500, which is a range set, and this is also 120 to 130 quad. Then the Armor set, which is this thing here, this is worth $250, so not as expensive, which is 30 to 35 quad. And then we have the Trix Amulet, which is right here. And this is worth $75. This is untradeable. Then we have the Avery Ring, which is $200, so 50 quad. Then we have the Boots, which is the Seers, is worth 8 quad. The Archers is worth 5 quad. And the Berserk is worth 10 quad plus. But it's not often traded, which are $75 each. Finally, we've got the Space Boxing Gloves, which are $125. These are untradeable. And to get this, all you have to do is combine the Anguish Gloves, but they gloves and the mystic gloves and you get this awesome gloves here which is untradeable so these are really overpowered these are the best in slot gloves in game and everything in this list is top tier guys and also if we combine these so it says here combining these boots will give you the quantum boots this changes irreversible and as you can see if you combine all of those we get the quantum boots so it says here you combine all three pairs of all left boots and create quantum boots and then obviously we get a scavenger level up we just upgraded our boots to get the best boots in game and we also have the best gloves in game so the first thing i'm going to do is try the rain shed so it says here this is the rain range set so we're gonna equip this and then we're obviously gonna equip the boots equip the gloves and then I believe for this you need a range weapon so I believe these are range weapons so we're gonna equip the AK-47 and then I'll load that it should look good maybe we need a cape as well let's have a look uh, yeah we could do with a cape as well so we're gonna equip a cape we're gonna use the uh, infernal cape and as you can see our setup looks pretty nice so this is a really good range set and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the donator zone um we're gonna click this we're gonna go to the extreme donator zone and we're gonna test this gear out to see which is better but obviously I'm pretty sure this is the best like I'm pretty sure they're all similar in hit wise uh, as with the same price so this shouldn't be too crazy but we're just gonna go to one of the monsters over here and see what damage we do so usually with a prod cape on executive cape which I used in previous videos we usually destroy these in about two seconds but I want to see what it's like without one of these because because obviously a prod cape are really like OP they're worth I'm pretty sure like a thousand dollars so it's really OP but we're gonna try it out with a necromancer and as you can see this actually hits a really OP we've nearly destroyed a necromancer in like two three seconds which is good so that's OP as Fuck. Uh, we're gonna try once more and let's have a look. And we're gonna keep destroying this by the looks of it. Uh, this is really cool. So that is awesome. As you can see, we destroyed that. And then we're gonna try this is the melee version, I believe. So if you look at the stats of this one, we can see that this is OP. Um this has got a bunch of um ranged bonus as you can see it's got a lot of range strength but then if we equip the the arm offset this is going to have a bunch of melee strength this is the gear we need to use as you can see it also has range strength by the looks of it which is pretty cool but uh this is uh i believe melee range i'm not too sure actually if we try it out we're gonna see um i believe this is let's try melee let's have a look at melee here real quick let's see what this does okay whoa holy shit holy shit wait did this is does the bfg shoot holy crap that is op look at that if we equip the dream helmet again a dream stuff again Let's see how hard we hit with the BFG and this. Holy crap, we are absolutely destroying right now. Holy crap, okay, we are using the wrong weapons. The Asimovs are not as good as the BFGs, as you can see here. We are absolutely tearing through these guys right now. And uh, so um, I believe these are both range sets, if I'm not mistaken. So as you can see, they are both OP. And then there's no melee set, but we're going to be taking a look at the armor of Cape. Let's have a look um, if this makes any difference. It's around about the same, as you can see. And now we're going to try the mage stuff. So this is the mage stuff here. We're going to equip this and see how much 
much damage this does so we're gonna get the county staff and let's see how hard we hit with this so as you can see this is not as op as the bfg as i believe the bfg is the most expensive stuff but as you can see this is still overpowered but i like 500 dollars i'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, and you can get all of this back. So as you can see, this is really OP. I'm going to kill one more, and then we're going to try the melee stuff. So as you can see, everything is OP. And now I want to try the Sword of the Protectorate, because I believe this is the most expensive item there is. Let me check the price real quick. So this is worth $300. That's really OP. And we're going to try and hit one of these to see how much damage you do. Okay, we do a lot of stuff for uh, wearing mage gear. We're going to try, I'm, I'm, I believe this is more bonus. So we're going to try this, and let's see how much we hit. We are hitting crazy amounts of this sword. Holy crap, look at that. Okay, every Everything's OP, but I believe the best combination is the Dream Gear along with the BFG. And I believe that has the best uh, damage. As you can see, we are absolutely destroying with the setup. So I believe if you guys are new, I highly urge you guys to check out the Dream Mage set along with the Trick Sambler, the BFGs, the Infernal Cape, and the Quantum Boots. Because these are really OP. And also the Space Boxing Gloves and the Avery Screen. Uh, so out of everything we've done, obviously this is the most OP set. And then we have the Cypher Vita. I'm not too sure how OP this is. This is not as expensive. So I'm not going to try this fully but as you can see this hits quite a bit but nothing is comparable to the bfg which i believe is one of the opiest things here so we're going to take a look at the stats for each and every single item for each and every single set so if we take a look the dream mage set has a lot of defense bonuses and a lot of magic bonuses so obviously this is a mage set so it's going to have the mage bonuses and if we take a look at this this has a lot of strength bonus but this is mainly ranged as you can see there's a lot of range strength and if you take a look at this this is melee strength so as you can see here melee mage and range so that is is really OP and if we take all of this off we're gonna take a look at the weapons individually so obviously the Asimov gives 9,000 range strength and then the orb gives 1,600 uh, range strength but obviously this is not as consistent it doesn't shoot as fast if we take a look here this shoots one at a time as you can see here whereas this shoots a bunch of times so this is obviously a difference in the uh, damage but then if we take a look let me just kill this one real quick but then if we take a look at the BFG if this just kills everything this has got 9,000 range strength along with 10,000 attack bonus here and this is absolutely OP this kills this destroys so look at that look how op that is they both shoot as weapons this is incredibly op we just destroyed the necromancer in two seconds without any gear on besides the uh, weapons that's so really op then we have a sword which is 5,000 strength cypher vita which is 3,000 strength and the eternal coyotes which is 100 plus magic damage so as you can see all of these are higher tier items and all of these are really op these absolutely destroy any npcs so yeah this was mainly an item showcase for this video guys i wanted to show you all the OP armors you can get and the prices and I believe most of these are worth it because you can absolutely destroy these bosses and that means you can get even better loot so obviously you're going to be profiting if you get higher tier gear so I highly urge you guys to maybe buy some yourself if you have the money or obviously if you don't get some of the lower tier items because obviously this is really OP to use as you can see from what I've shown you but with that being said um, we're going to move on to the giveaway now and I'll be back. So for this video I'm going to be giving away 5 super mystery boxes to everyone who joins from my video so you don't have to enter this guys all you have to do is come to IGN and then meet me in game and I'll give you five super mystery boxes but you have to be joined from me you can't be an old player you have to be new and then I'm also going to be giving away a collector's necklace so all you gotta do is like the video come to IGN subscribe to my channel and make sure to click the referral link in the description if you haven't already as that helps me a ton and then obviously we're going to be giving away a golden scratch card and this is going to be for the first commenter so if you comment first you will automatically win this so make sure to comment straight away guys as soon as you see this with that being said guys it's been another fun video I hope you got some information on the higher tier items and I hope you uh, consider any of them. Yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching the video, lads. And